Hi, folks, Max from RootNexus5.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to install the latest Android 5.0 L preview. Um, now, this uh, before you do this, make a backup ROM if you have um, if you want to restore back later, uh, because we'll be installing the bootloader um, later on. There should be a, a flashable ROM zip file. As of this video, there isn't. So this is the manual method of doing it. Um, you can wait for that. Uh, but if you want to go ahead and install, make a backup ROM and uh, copy your backup ROM to your hard disk um, so that way um, you can restore it later. Uh, you may lose everything. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna go ahead and power off my phone. All right, and I'm gonna put it into the bootloader mode uh, simply by holding down the volume down and the power button. All right, and you'll get to here. Uh, simply connect a micro USB cable um, to your computer here. There we go. And then let's go to our computer. All right, next you want to download this, uh, the actual uh, factory firmware for the L preview, hammerhead, blah, blah, dot, tgz. Um, go ahead and download that. I'll have it on the link on my site. And also go ahead and download fastboot.zip. Um, so two files. Go ahead and unzip both files. Uh, and uh, you should get two folders uh, looking like this. Um, the hammerhead-lpv79. Um, dash preview and inside there's a directory called lpv79. Next go ahead and unzip the fastboot.zip. You'll get a bunch of files. Uh, I actually have files for all Mac, Linux and uh, Windows. Uh, commands are nearly identical. Uh, I'll have what to type if you have Mac or Linux. Um, go ahead and unzip this too. Copy the whole thing. All right, do a copy and paste it into this folder with a bunch of files. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and paste it here. All right, and let's go to the next step. All right, next go ahead and open up a command prompt or terminal. You can go ahead and type CMD in your search window. Uh, for Windows, I'm using a Windows 64-bit, by the way. Um, you should be able to use any kind of Windows, uh, also Mac or Linux. Mac or Linux, oh, go ahead and open up a terminal. Um, the instructions should be nearly identical. Actually, most of the commands are actually the same, um, except for the fast boot commands. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. Next, what we're going to do uh, is go ahead and go into this directory here. Um, so we're going to just simply type cd downloads. All right, it might be download or downloads. Um, next, go ahead and type cd uh, hammerhead. Um, type all of this in. Or what you can do is just type the first three or four letters and hit the tab key on your keyboard. It'll fill it, fill it in for you. All right. And next, hit enter. And once it, you're in this directory, uh, we're going to enter um, these commands here. All right, fast boot, flash bootloader, um, all of this here. This one will flash the latest bootloader. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste. I'll put all of this on my site so you can copy and paste it. All right. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, do one more. Do type CD space hammerhead. LPV79. There's actually two directories you have to go into, so I actually missed that. Um, do that first, and then type the fastboot flash bootloader bootloader dash hammerhead dash hhz11k.img. Hit enter. This will flash the bootloader, and then go ahead and load the next command. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste um, fastboot space reboot bootloader. This will simply reboot the bootloader on your phone. And then next, we're going to go ahead and flash the radio. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to copy this and paste the next line here. Uh, this will flash the radio. All right. For Mac or Linux users, um, I'll have the commands you have to type on my site. So copy and paste that instead. Next, we're going to go ahead and also reboot the bootloader again. All right. And next, we're going to go actually flash the uh, preview image here. So do go ahead and do right click paste fast boot space minus W update. Um, it is actually same as unrooting for any stock ROM for the Nexus 5. Go ahead and do that. All right, and this should take a couple of minutes here. And it is sending and when this is done, your phone should reboot and I think it will actually wipe out everything. That's why I told you in the beginning of the video uh, to make a backup ROM of everything. Uh, and move everything you want to save to your hard disk before beginning, um, just in case you lose everything. You may, it may keep um, some of the stuff. We'll find out at the end of this video. 
Uh, but it's always a good idea, just in case you mess up, um, just to back up everything. So it's been about 25 seconds. Um, should be another 20 seconds or so, and uh, we should be done here. Um, so I will probably fast forward this if it gets a little bit longer than this. All right, the system probably was the longest. That's actual uh, operating OS. And now it's actually erasing user data. Um, so this does erase your user data, uh, but I don't think it'll erase your contents, your storage, but it, it might, it probably does. Um, there we go, it is almost done. Sending user data and uh, we should be all good to go here. Again, this is a developer's uh, preview version. It is not for daily driving. Um, most of your apps probably will be not working that well as it's a developer version. Um, so it is done. And let me change the camera angle. And my phone is actually rebooting now. Hi right, folks, so it is rebooting. Um, and we'll find out here in a second uh, if everything is working. Uh, but it is booting. It's looking really, really good. Um, I'll probably fast forward this. Hi folks, so it did boot up here. Uh, it says a warning here, this is a preview version. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and skip all this here. Skip anyways. Um, the UI certainly looks a little bit different uh, than the KitKat I'm used to usually. And there we go. Um, pretty exciting stuff. There we go, I've got uh, the latest L version here. All right, I'm gonna try to make it brighter. Um, I should have a, uh, a short preview of this from here. Um, go check that out. I should, I might have a link out here on the video already. Um, so definitely check it out. Uh, one thing I'll check before uh, we go somewhere else. Uh, let's try this. Ooh. So it's got some kind of LV here. All right, that's sort of like KitKat there. Now, how do I exit out of here? It won't let me get out. All right, hold on a second. There we go. There we go. Um, so I should have it. Let's actually take a look at uh, the file system here. Let me go ahead and download ES File Explorer because there's no file explorer and check that um, my storage is still there or maybe it wiped it. I'll be right back. Hi folks, so I installed uh, ES File Explorer. Um, it did wipe everything off my phone, so just beware. It does erase everything. Um, I've lost everything on my phone. <laughs> so anyway, that was how to install it on your Nexus 5. Now if you wanna go back to um, KitKat, you, can go, you will need to reinstall all the bootloaders. Um, you can find that on my site at rootnexus5.com. Uh, go to the Nexus 5 root FAQ at the top, and there's a link to how to unroot Nexus 5 with stock firmware. Go there, and also there's a Nexus 5 stock firmware menu at the top where you can download the latest Android 4.4.4. Um, so whenever you wanna go back after trying, um, go ahead and use that, and then uh, once you go back to it, you'll have to reroute it uh, and then go through the process. Anyway, that was how to install the latest uh, L Preview Android 5.0 on your Nexus 5. Thanks, you guys, for watching this video. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at rootnexus5.com. Um, and uh, I will see you guys soon. Uh, as always, uh, stay high on Android. Yeah, I got, I got it.